Pimp University, the Korean Godfather. Today's discussion will be about how to distinguish a good woman versus a thought. I know you lovely young ladies want to assess yourselves to see if you truly are a good woman. Because obviously you would want to tell that new guy or your current boyfriend that you're a good woman. Am I right? Let's start off with a thought. A thought is someone, for example, let's say you meet me at the club, an average looking dude, and I tell you, I have 15 million dollars in my bank account so i would love to take you out to my hotel room tonight and smash if you say yes you are a thought you are also a thought if you can manipulate me into buying you materialistic things in, re in exchange for your vagina i almost said the p word that's a bad word if you give me your vagina for let's say a new chanel bag caviar you know the classic with the with the silver chain you are a thought Let's say you traded your vagina for the new Louboutin shoes that just came out. You are absolutely a thought. Let's say you traded your vagina for the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick collection. You are a thought. Let's say you traded your vagina for a pair of Gucci shades. You are a thought. You are a thought if you can manipulate me into paying you for your pussy. Excuse my French. Vagina. You are a thought. If you can go out and spread your legs like an eagle any given Sunday. If you sleep with more than one dude a night or an evening, you are a thought. If you can just spread your legs worldwide, nationwide with no hesitation, you are a thought. Let's go back to the good woman. A good woman is exactly the opposite of what I stated. A good woman is exactly the opposite of a thought. Here's the best case scenario. How you can really distinguish a thought versus a good woman. Let's say I, actually I don't even want to put myself in a situation. I don't want to jinx myself in the future. Let's say there is a lovely young lady who is a thought that married a multi-millionaire. And I hear these stories all the time. And they live happily ever after. Not forever, but happily ever in the daytime. And then let's say they live together for about five years. And his business is booming. He's, he's a mogul. He's doing big ass things. And one day, something happened. Somebody did something to his business or he had bad luck and a business shut down. Yo, Luther, calm down. Chill out, Luther. You're messing me up. Let's say the business goes down, right? And he's bankrupt now. He's filing for bankruptcy. He has no bread. Let me shut you off real quick. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Let's say the business went bankrupt and he lost absolutely everything. And he's broke his shit. He has absolutely nothing. That thought will be the first one to leave that is a thought a good woman would do her best to stick by his side and do whatever she can to make the shit work all right a good example would be uh conor mcgregor and his uh current wife or girlfriend or whoever it is she was the backbone of his success you know old boy was very broke as a kid but you know he had a backbone which was that girl so that is the difference a good woman has standards has morals she respects herself and others, is compassionate, and people highly look up to her and highly respect her because she has those morals. She lives by a code of ethics and her values. It's it's great. You can tell it. As long as you tell her, hey, if you can say, hey, what do you think about her? And she's a good woman. They go, hey, man, she's wonderful. She's wonderful. And if they ask somebody, hey, what do you think of her? And she's a thought. They'll say, ew, that's a thought. That's how you know. Pampa University, the Korean Godfather, have a blessed day.